Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another update video. This video is probably going to be kind of short because over the last week it was spring break and so I was not spinning the wheel and I was not even really stitching that much so there isn't a ton for me to show. I worked on three projects and that's it. So I figured I would just kind of walk through what I worked on in the last week and then I, at the end of this video I am going to be spinning the wheel. It is currently Saturday, April, what day is it? April 6th, the last time that I had filmed at all and then uploaded a video was last Saturday, so it's been exactly a week. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna spin the wheel at the end of this video and then get back on track. So I will be spinning the wheel twice today, once for today and then for Sunday. And then Monday, I will hopefully be back to making my little daily clips where I spin the wheel and get back to normal. So uh, the last time that I had filmed, I had spun the wheel and I had gotten a new start, which was Cozy Winter Book Nook by Pain Free Crafts. And I worked on it, I think I worked on it three days. So the first day I worked on it, I did a thousand stitches, I think. Then it was Easter and so I did, I think 200-ish stitches because I didn't have a ton of stitching time. And then I worked on it again later in the week because I just wanted to keep working on it. And I think I did another like 700-ish stitches. So currently it has 2,000 stitches done, which is still like 0.4% or something ridiculous like that. Like it's, it's a very tiny percentage of the chart is finished. So here is my new start. And this is all 2,000 stitches. I started in the top left corner. I had considered starting somewhere else just to get to like more fun things, but I do like working top down. And so like, I, I thought about starting in the center, but like, I like working top down. So I, that was out. And then I thought about working in one of the other corners, but all the corners are going to be kind of boring. Like the fun stuff is like, as you go in. So I was just working in this top corner. This part here is just the ceiling. And then this area here is the start of the fabric that's kind of hanging from the ceiling. So that was fun to, to see that starting to come out like already. I say already, but like it's not really already because this chart is so big that each little detail is pretty big. And so I can't decide if I wanna keep working across the top row or if I wanna work down and then get to that one painting with the dragons that's over the fireplace because I really love that painting with the dragons. And this is being stitched on a 25 count, two over one tent stitch and it's a huge piece of fabric. Like I put it into the, this little nerd hoop and I was like, this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> so uh, I worked on that. I need to figure out how I want to like fit it into my rotation because I really do wanna keep working on it because I love the colors like, all these colors that I worked on are just so pretty. Like it was a ton of colors, a ton of confetti, but it's so, so many pretty colors. So there was that. And then we're gonna walk through the week. So that was, I worked on that Saturday and Sunday for sure. And then on Monday we left and we went to Seattle for a couple days and we went to a Mariners game and then we did some shopping and stuff. So I knew I wanted to bring a project even though I didn't stitch very much and it had to be a project that was one over one. So I didn't want to do any like two over two stitching. And then I also wanted it to be on like a 16 or 18 count so it's easier to stitch on. And that left me with one project that would be easy because it's only like one or two colors that you would be working on and that is Tonight We Ride by Autumn Lane Stitchery. So I took Tonight We Ride with me to um, Seattle and I only did like 400 stitches on it while we were gone over the course of a couple days and here is the small amount of progress that I got done. I was just filling in more of the black along the bottom, just trying to get that done because like this bottom section, it's really huge. It's going to end up being pretty wide on both sides. So I'm just kind of trying to like chip away at it slowly. But this was the easiest project to bring of the ones I have that are like my goals for the month because it's not like a full coverage that has a ton of colors like Autumn Harmony and it's not um, two over two, like Kita is two over two, and then um, my witchy stitcher chart is two over two. So this was the easiest to bring, even though um, I've been over black for a while, but it was fine, it was fun. And so I did a small amount on that. And then I came home and I still did not do a ton of stitching. So once I came home, I actually worked one more day on the cozy winter book nook, and that's how it got to the 2000 stitches. And then I have been doing 200-ish stitches on, um, 
Autumn Harmony by Maxine Gad. And so I don't remember exactly how many stitches I've done so far yet this month, but I've only been doing it since I think I started, we got home on, what day was it? Wednesday, I think. So I did my 200 stitches on her Thursday, Friday, and then today, Saturday. So that's all she's gotten so far. And here is where Autumn Harmony is. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put it so that I can get a picture at the top of where it was before. But I am not doing extreme cross country for this month. I think I'm going to take like a little one month break. And then I have been filling in the top row because I really want to get over to the other corner because I was looking at if I keep going extreme cross country by color and there are some colors that are in this top corner but there's nothing there yet so it would be really hard to get those stitches in. So I want to get a little bit more of this top row um, some stitches in and then that way if I do keep going extreme cross country by color in other months then there is something there to anchor those stitches in that need spots. So that is what I've been doing on her and this is 18 count 2 over 1. 10 stitch or not 10 stitch two over one full cross and that was all that I worked on so that means we can now go to spin the wheel and I will pick two projects one to work on tonight and then one to work on tomorrow I'm really kind of hoping to get one of my whip go pieces because I really like the whip go pieces that were picked this month there was Christmas 2, which is artwork by Chiro Marchetti, and it's one that I started during Flossmas last year. And then the other Whip Go piece that was called is Piper Boy by Gecko Rouge, and I also really love that kit. So I really hope I get a Whip Go piece to work on. So let's do our first spin now. And we have Tonight We Ride! Okay, Tonight We Ride right here. This, this beautiful piece, I love it. I didn't mention the fabric, I cut the tag off. Uh, I think it's This is Halloween by Witches Garden Crafts. I love the fabric for this. And then we will have one more spin, so. And we have the Haid Stitch Along. I will grab that real quick. For the Hade Stitch Along, I'm doing Merry Mushroom Village Picnic number three, which is the one with the fairy. There are three mushroom charts. The first one is, I think, the red mushroom. The second one is the kind of rainbowy mushroom with the tree in the back. And then uh, this is the third one with the fairy. I really like all of them. And so I would really like to at least get the four page finish so I can get all the other charts that were in the stitch along because I really would like to do all the mushroom charts. But here's where I am right now on the stitch along. And for the month, for my goal, I need to do, like, I think I recalculated it. And if I wanted to get this fully finished by the end of the year, I think I would have to do like 5,800 stitches a month or something crazy like that because I got behind in February. So I don't know if that's possible. Uh, so I don't know if I'm actually going to keep trying for that. And part of it is because I looked at my wish list on Hade and there's a lot of things that I like but there's not a lot that I am feeling drawn to actually stitch, if that makes sense. And so I don't know if it's worth it for me to keep trying to go for the finish or, or if I want to just start focusing on like this one. Because if I go down on this stitching wise and only try and get the four pages finished, I could have the four pages finished fairly quick and then I could then start working more on this one because I really am loving the cozy winter book nook right now. And so, I don't know, we will see, but the second part came out early, so it was supposed to come out April 1st, I think it came out, I think, March 30th, and so the second part is out, which gave the last page of this row, and then it also gave two more pages down in this next row here, so that means that there is a lot more for me to do now, and I really need to get working on that, and then uh, another stitch along that I was going to show is... I'm trying to remember the one that came out. I am doing the board game Stitch Along from Taylor and Cromwell, and the new board game came out on Monday, and I'm fairly sure it was Gloomhaven. I will insert the picture, but I am really far behind on that Stitch Along. So, yeah. I mean, that is one thing if I were to cut down on the Hade Stitch Along and only try and go for the four pages, it would give me extra stitches for not just the Cozy Winter Book Nook, but then I could also try and fit the board game Stitch Along in somewhere. There's just too much that I really want to work on, and I think that's the problem. But yeah, so that is what I'll be working on this weekend is I'll be working on Tonight We Ride and then the Hade Stitch Along. I still need to do 1,100 stitches on this and then I need to 
calculate and figure out how many stitches I actually want to do for the stitch along. So that is what I'll be working on. And I think that is all that I have. I have not purchased any cross stitch things, even though I have been looking. I know that Thread Geeks is retiring their Ann Stokes charts. I don't know if it's all of them or if it's just the ones that they have pictured on their Facebook group, but I know that some of their charts are retiring the Ann Stokes. And there is one that I really want, and so I will most likely be buying that. And then Thread Geeks normally has, um, if you buy two, you can get one free. And so I would most likely get two more charts because I have a huge wish list on Thread Geeks. So. We will see, but you have until the end of the month to get the Ann Stokes charts, so I have time to like think about it and look, look around, because I keep changing the other two charts that I want. Like, But that is all that I have for this video, and so I will be back recording on Monday, and then I will start doing my normal videos that I had been doing, where I spin the wheel every day of the week and then post on Fridays. So I'll be getting back to a normal routine, hopefully, in the next week, and I will see you all then. Bye!